I'm John Skinner and this supports chapter 6 in my book Fishing the Bucktail and the book covers bucktailing for a variety of species from surf, kayak, and boat. Okay, I'm on an eastern Long Island Bay. This is May, an evening trip. Uh, and even though the sun is on its way down, the lighting level won't change too much because I, I have a cloud line on the west end there and it's moving west to east. So uh, we'll be losing the cloud cover a little bit and the breeze will shift and, and pick up and die down, but um, pretty much the same light level the whole way. So it's really nice conditions for this trip. And um, I've got a lot of time here, so uh, I'm just going to let this first fish play out and then I'll, I'll start adding some details. So that was a nice fish for uh, this kind of fishing, but unfortunately it, it took a run right at me and I reeled as fast as I could, but it still managed to come undone. Um, and, and then I actually didn't get any hits for about 15 minutes and, and the action picked up real nice after that. I'm casting, uh, even though I'm standing um, about thigh deep, I'm casting into about 15 feet of water. I've got a nice drop off there. So um, if you can watch the line there um, on the rod, you'll notice that numerous times I'll stop and let the bucktail uh, go back down towards the bottom. So I'm, I'm trying to stay uh, close to the bottom. And uh, I'm using a one ounce bucktail with a strip of number 240 Uncle Josh pork rind. And I'll add some more details in a minute. So this is early season fishing in these waters and uh, this is like among the, the first types of fishing that I'll do going into a new season. And this is a pretty good size fish for, for this type of fishing. I'm happy to get one this size. 
So uh, for this video, what I've done is I've taken about an hour and 15 minutes worth of fishing and I've condensed it down to about 26 minutes and split that into two videos. And you'll see a fair number of fish caught and there were five others that uh, I didn't put on the video. So as I mentioned, I'm casting into about 15 feet of water. So what I'll do at uh, the beginning of each cast is I'll give that jig some time to settle down towards the bottom before I start my retrieve. And then what I'll do is, is as soon as I start that retrieve, I'll usually give it a few quick uh, twitches and, and try to bring it up off the bottom in, in a hurry so that if a fish is watching it go towards the bottom and they see it snap up off the bottom, it might trigger them to hit. Well, bucktails catch just about everything, and uh, I guess this fluke didn't quite get the bucktail as it was going along off the bottom. When I felt that bump, I um, ended up snagging him. And uh, it's actually my first fluke of this young season. I'm using a 7-foot pen regiment rod rated for 10 to 17 pound test line. Uh, it's a really excellent rod. The reel is a pen slammer 360. I'm using 20 pound test braid and I have about a 30 inch liter of 30 pound test fluorocarbon. I'm not tying direct to the bucktail but rather using a small tactical angler's clip. There aren't any visible signs of life here. If you were to cruise through this area you wouldn't see any birds or fish breaking or bait or anything else um, and, and it's usually like that. This is just a matter of knowing the, the bottom structure and where these fish like to hang out and it's just um, this is just one of those spots where the fish tend to congregate. Okay, you see a rash on this fish. I think this is a, a good example of what's called mycobacteriosis. So you could Google that and learn a little bit about it. Fish seems healthy otherwise. You might notice my kayak off to the right in this video, and I'm simply using that for transportation. There is lots of good places to fish on Long Island, but not all of them are that easy to get to. You have to deal with private property and parking restrictions and so forth. So many times I'll use the kayak to access good shore spots. I have a fair amount of current here moving left to right and it may not be obvious in the video but I'm leading that current a little bit casting slightly on an angle up current and letting that bucktail um, sink down towards the bottom before the retrieve and then it's pretty much a, a pretty slow retrieve and then occasional pauses to let that bucktail get down again because as that bucktail sweeps down current the force of the water is going to want to lift it up uh, off the bottom and out of the strike zone.
I'm done narrating this video. After this next fish, I'll have a link to the second part of this video, which is the, uh, the remainder of this trip. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Enjoy. I guess they can't all be stripers. Uh, it's an early season bluefish mixed in with the bass here.